India's space agency launches a rocket from its facility north of Chennai. On board a $15 million test craft, it hopes will mark an important step towards the country's first reusable space shuttle. After climbing to an altitude of 70 kilometres, the craft re-entered the Earth's atmosphere, exposing it to temperatures up to 2,000 degrees Celsius. Whether the thermal coating on the space plane can withstand that kind of a heat pressure is one thing that needs to be um, uh, sort of vetted at, at this particular stage. Until now, only the US, USSR, Japan and Europe have successfully launched reusable shuttles. NASA's space shuttle was a vital part of its space program for 30 years. It flew 135 missions until it was decommissioned in 2011. Now the US has this. It's Air Force's X-37B orbital test vehicle. It's currently in orbit, it's been there for the last year, and it's on its third unmanned flight. However, its secret activities have provoked speculation that it's a spy satellite or it's being tested to deliver weapons from space. Then there's the Dream Chaser, the shuttle private space company Sierra Nevada is working on to service the International Space Station. Its first trip is planned for 2019. And then, of course, India's space shuttle is in a much earlier stage of development. It's being reported that it has between 10 and 15 years of work left in it before it will come into service. In 2014, India celebrated putting a spacecraft into orbit around Mars, making it the first Asian nation to do so. There is a flourishing military space program under the Chinese military leadership, and that is a direct challenge for India, which India has to respond. Otherwise, we are going to be left lagging behind. India plans a number of further tests of the technology, including the supersonic scramjet engine it hopes will one day power the spacecraft. It says its Mars mission cost about a tenth of that of other missions to the Red Planet, and if its reusable space shuttle can achieve the same savings, space travel will be much more affordable for all. Tarek Basley, Al Jazeera. <laughs>
that India's real advantage, what it brings to the table, is the ability to get a much higher return in terms of the domain capacity or capability for the fiscal investment. And I think as we go ahead over the next decade, if India is able to position itself appropriately, I think there is going to be an enormous benefit both for India and a number of countries that would like to take advantage or benefit from the low cost option that India provides. And as you rightly pointed out, there are a number of applications where a credible capability in terms of space launches could have a number of dividends. And at the end of the day, I think the way in which it would impact the socio-economic and the development agenda would be of considerable well, yeah. value, I think, to India. India has successfully launched its first ever homemade space shuttle model called the Reusable Launch Vehicle Technology Demonstrator, or RLVTD. It was blasted off on a rocket from Sri Harikota spaceport at 7 a.m. local time. It was presumed to reach an altitude of 70 kilometers and then plunge into the Bay of Bengal. While the Indian Space Research Organization developed the program on a small budget of about 1 billion rupees, or roughly 15 million U.S. dollars. And the aim is to make future satellite launches mo more cost-effective and much greener.